This is your ultimate guide for the Wandering Merchant mechanism in Lost Ark. If you don't know what Wandering Merchants are, you need to know. Because these merchants are extremely important for your gameplay advancement and all that. Uh, so what happens is, multiple times per day in every single region, Wandering Merchants appear in one of many different locations in the zone. And they have set intervals, which we'll go over in a minute. Now the reason these Wandering Merchants are so good is that every time you have a you find them, they have a sale limit instead of a day limit. They, every single time you find them, they can they sell stuff. And it's kind of random each time. You can get rapport items, you can get cards, you can get things that, you know, help you work towards your 100% progression of the game. So, if you have the time, you're going to want to seek out as many of these merchants as you can every hour or so. Uh, I have a schedule that I'll show you from, there's a, there's a website that's really, really helpful. Okay, we'll go over it in a second. So yeah, they'll be in one of different locations, you'll find them, trade with them, it costs silver. It's a way to convert silver into rapport items and all these other valuable stuff. So there's this website, and I will link this in this, this page that I'm on in the description of this video. So what it has here is, it has the schedule for the different characters. So if you you are looking for a merchant in North Vern, it's going to be at... 12.30, 3.30, 4.30, 6.30, 7.30, and 10.30 at a.m. and p.m. You will find this one. You know, these ones is going to be a uh, similar schedule, a little bit different. And for all these ones, West Lutera, East Lutera, Tortoric, whatever. Uh, so this is where the schedule is. I'll link this so you guys can, you know, keep track of the schedule. And then down here on this page, this website's got this crazy resource of uh, the Wandering Merchant location. So here, say I want to go to the one in... Um, North, not, is it North Vern? Yeah, North Vern. Uh, so what happens here is you go to these, go in here, and now that I pick North Vern, it'll show you where his location is for each of the spawn points. So what'll happen is, when it's time for Peter to appear, which in my case would be eight minutes when I was recording this by coincidence, I'm going to check him out in just a minute, uh, he's going to appear in one of the five zones. And if he appears in Port Krona, he'll appear right here by the port. If he appears in Parna Forest, he'll appear right here. If he appears in Fesnar Highlands, he's going to appear just north of the fast travel. If he appears in Verness Forest, he's going to be down here. And if he's in Balancar Mountain, he'll be right here. So what you'll do is, when it's time for Peter to appear in one of those intervals, then you're going to go to Port Krona, check there. You're going to go to Parna Forest, you're going to check there. You're going to go to Fesnar Highlands, you're going to check there until you find him. Once you find him, you don't need to check any others, there can only be one. Uh, and then... If you have time, after you find him, if you want to go find more merchants, now you would sail over to, say, you'd use the ocean liner to get to Arthentine. And then you'd be looking for Nox. And you would check at the port, or at Arid Path, I mean, you would check right here, which is the port, I think. Scraplands, you check here, and you get the point. This is a very helpful resource you guys can use. Again, I will link this in the description for you so that you can find merchants off cooldown and try to farm as many of the items as possible. It'll go here and when it's time, in my case, right when I was recording this, it was almost 5.30, so I'm going to take a look for, uh, let's see, I'll look for Arissa in Rahendel, or I'll look for Nox in Arthentine, or maybe I'll look for Bert and Malone in Lutera. That'd be a good one because I'm on the same continent. It'll be real fast to do all those ones. So, um, yeah, and there's even, no, this one's on a different schedule. No, East Lutera actually has two. Uh, there's one other one that can happen at East Lutera on the opposite hour interval. So Lutera is actually a great place to farm these guys. But yeah, so I'll check them out and we'll see what they got. Okay, so I started a little late. We'll see if I can find another one after this. But I found this one using that map. The map doesn't, I found out the map's missing some stuff. This is in Dior, 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 Dior wherever the plane, uh, by this fast travel. You'll actually see the icon on your mini map even. So it makes it easy to make to check. It's easy to check because you don't have to actually see, see on the mini map. Talk to this guy. This time around, this guy's got Dior. I don't know if it's different each time or not, but he has this straw hat. I'm gonna buy that. And he has his card. This is when you might realize that um, silver is actually really valuable. I don't even know what dry age means for. I'm just gonna buy it. Oh, I can buy as many as I want. I'll probably throw it away later. Actually, I don't know what it's for. Someone in the chat will. Someone in the comments. I mean, will probably know. Okay. So uh, that is a wandering merchant. That's what it's gonna look like. That's how to find one. Uh, I have a little bit of time left. I'm gonna see if I can find more before the 30 minutes is up. When you talk to him, you'll see there's 15 minutes till the sale ends. So, I gotta hurry up, and I'm gonna try to find the other ones before they're gone. Okay, so I found another one now, using that map. This one is Malone. He is in the Medric Monastery right here. And he is in Wesley Terra. Now, he could have been in a different location, but this is the one that I found him at. And we got another Rapport item to buy. Makes sure I realize silver is a valuable item in this game. And you also buy Hair Plant, which I'll buy one of. 
So that's that. I'm gonna go see if I can find another one real fast. I gotta go fast. Not so much time we got left. 11 minutes. Let's see if I can find more. Now I found Lucas. This guy, I found him at Oshorn Hill right here. Oshorn Hill is in Udia. And now after this one, we're gonna see if I have time to get across the ocean and try to find another one. So this guy, this time around, got Udia Spellbook. I'll buy one of those. And a giant worm card. Why not? I'm gonna run out of silver at this rate. How much time do I have left? I have nine minutes. I gotta go. I'm gonna see if I can find another one real fast. I'm gonna take an ocean liner over to Arathine, or Areth... Arthatine, Arthatine, I mean. We're gonna go there and try to find Nox. All right, so I got super lucky and Nox was at the port. So here's Nox. Nox has energy capsule X7. That's the roster. Oh my God, I got excited for a sec. Another card. And we got adrenaline boosting fluid, which I still don't know what these items are for. I hope somebody says in the description so I can make a video to tell everyone what those items are for, because I don't know. All right, and then I'm gonna look to see if there's another one that I can go to. I can go to Tortoyak or Punica or Rahendel. I I'll go to Rahendel next. Or no, I'll go to, um, no, actually, I can't go there. Sh Shushire? Can I go to Shushire from here? We're going to find out. So I'm going to go head back over to the ocean liner. We'll see. I'm going to go to Anika. Anika, let's go. I know that there's one there for this time interval. We're going to try to find it. Okay, now I found Mac. He was at Melody Forest this time. Right here by this triport. And here's Mac. Tournament entrance stamp. And Madame Moonstant card. All right, let's go. Let's see if I get one more. I got how many minutes? I have three minutes. Three and a half minutes. I have to go. All right, this time we're going to Tortoric or whatever you call it. Tortoic. Tortoic. Which is the island. The island of little people. And I'm going to try to find the guy there before it's too late. I've only got like two minutes left. We'll see if I can get him in time. Now, unfortunately, this is around where he would have been in Skyreach Step. But I sadly did not make it to him in time. It was the last zone that I checked and on top of that I did not have the correct triport so I had to run here I ran out of time but you can see how this game kind of goes how you're trying to if you really are going to play it like this and try to get those rapport items uh I don't know where they actually go if you go, I guess they don't go to your inventory they go somewhere else I I don't I don't even know I don't mess with rapport items very often I need to make a guide about rapport if you guys need a, a, a rapport guide and how all that works uh let me know in the comments I'll try to prioritize a guide for that I'll try to make guides as much as I can for everything in this game as fast as I can and uh, I can only get so much done in the day I'm working like 14 hours a day most days trying to get these guides done but yeah this is the wandering merchants that's that's like the system you're gonna use to try to find them again I'll link that in the description that uh, page I was using I remembered by the way if you want to access your report items it's uh, in your inventory this third tab third tab report report I heard I was told it's a silent T and here's all the items I bought and also I think I already had one or two of these so that's a way to get those. It's a really good way to get those. Those That's really going to come in hand later, handy later for another guy that I'm going to be making. So, yeah. Now you know how the Wandering Merchants are, like how they work, where they, how to find them, how to use that website in order to try to get multiple in an hour. And someday, if you do it long enough, you'll just have them all memorized and you won't even need the website anymore. But that's going to be a far, like a long ways off. You'll have to do it a lot before you have all their timestamps memorized and all their locations memorized. But... If you're trying to farm those items, those cards, or those rapport items, or those other weird special items they have, uh, that's a great way to do it. You can just do it as many times as you want, just over and over again, uh, every time they come back, which is like every two hours for most of them. And yeah, it's just, it's a really good thing. You should definitely be like doing that when you have time. Go when you're doing uh, Wandering Merchant runs like that, especially at the intervals like the one I just did, where I can go to a lot of them in a single hour. That's Those are good ones. It's every two hours for the one I just did. And uh, if you do it faster than me, I did it real slow. I could have gotten all of them. I could have gotten the one in Shushire and the one in Rothendel if I had gone faster. Uh, I was really slow. I even came back six, I was six minutes late to the thing. I was getting a snack and stuff. So, uh, yeah, Wandering Merchants, they're great. Uh, you should definitely, definitely be doing that. Also, if you found this video helpful, definitely consider subscribing to this channel. I post Lost Ark guides and tips and tricks and stuff like that, news, patch notes, etc. Uh, all the time. Uh, right now, when I'm making this video, at least, like I, I might have said earlier in the video, I'm literally working like 14 hours a day to try to get these guides out as fast as possible to you guys. If there's any guides that you guys want, uh, let me know in the comments, and no guarantee that they'll get done in a timely manner, but just help me get more ideas for things you guys need to know. I mean, I'm literally here to serve you guys, basically, with this type of content. It's what do you guys need to know. I'm trying to figure it out on my own. Any, any hints you guys can give me in the comments to let me know what kind of stuff you need help with, uh, that would help a lot. Also, if I might have already made what you're asking for, by the way, so check the description of this video. I throw in a bunch of links to other videos I made, like Ultimate Stronghold Guide, Gathering Trade Skills Guide, How to Unlock 460 Chaos Dungeons, 
you know, those type of things. How to get your awakening skills. I, I have a lot of guides already made, and I try to come back every few days and update the descriptions of each of these videos and just throw in all those links into the video. So, you know, you might be able to just bounce around from video to video, getting all your questions answered using the links in the descriptions of each video. So consider doing that. That could help you out a lot. But yeah, so now you know how to do, how to use, and how to take advantage of the Wandering Merchant System in Lost Ark.